Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Gothic 1. And last time we played, which again is about a month and a half ago because I'm good at recording anything, um, we basically did a bunch of stuff in this camp over how. And a few things I realized after recording is first of all, I turned all my uh, normal meat into like grilled meat, like all my raw meat is now grilled. Because that was something I didn't really want to do while recording, and um, it turned out that you really only need to grill this meat for about a second, and that's long enough. Interestingly enough, but there you go. And secondly, what I found out was that I picked up a few things, which was this Ring of Lesser Dexterity, which I will now equip because it gives me dexterity. And this Bloodfly Sting, which seems to do slightly more damage, so I'm just going to equip it because why not. And his long bow, which does about twice as much damage as the bow I had at the time. I think that rogue that I killed somewhere along these lines probably dropped it. Because, well, this guy has one. And this this thing is huge, by the way. It is gigantic. This is a long, long bow. But there you go. I guess that's what long bows are for. And a few other things I realized um, while I was just kind of mucking around and running around. One thing that someone commented was that you can sleep in this game, which will make time pass, and I really wish I knew that earlier, but there you go. Another thing is that this guy is the guy that was talked about in a quest, which was like, um, that guy stole our house, and he was not very nice and stuff, so we, let's talk to this guy. How are things? Get lost! He's a really pleasant fellow. Let's talk to him again. I wonder if we can. Why? Why have I woken you up? Because you weren't even asleep, you were sitting down. But, um, yeah, apparently they don't mind if I forcefully remove him from his house, so I think I'm just gonna do that. He's floating now. I pointed Put the weapon my... away. No, I'm just gonna shoot you repeatedly, I think. So, this thing basically does a lot more damage, but it's kind of scary to use because I don't hit all the time. But fortunately, this guy has a Rider's Bow, which was the bow I was using earlier, and that uh, doesn't really do too much damage. And another fortunate thing is that you can pretty much just run outside of the house and just eat healing items for a while. And he'll just shoot it at, at the wall for some reason. I don't really know why. I guess that's just one of those nice AI things. But there you go. He has a bunch of nice things, and I'm just going to take everything. And his Sting Mace, which for some reason is invisible in his inventory. Don't really know why, but I'm not really going to question anything in this game anymore, because that's just how this game works. Is there anything in his chest? I don't actually know. No, there is not. Unless there's more invisible items that for some reason don't want to show, but it... No, I don't think there's anything in this chest. Also, it seems that guy doesn't have a head anymore. Or it's stuck in his building. Okay, that's pretty normal. Anyway, when you select the bed and hold the control and then press the forward, you will actually go to sleep on top of his corpse. And you can choose when you want to until when you want to sleep. And this is actually really useful because I had no idea. And at one point, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I actually waited until night passed. And that takes a long time. It takes a long, long time. And this guy apparently went outside when he was dead. That's a strange thing to do, but apparently that's just how they roll or something. I'm actually kind of curious if this guy says something now that I uh, removed him from the house. Doesn't See you later. Time. Gorn does not mind that his friend is currently kind of dead, but there you go. Anyway, now that we have done that, we can go to Mr. Mum Bal... Uh, Bal... Bal... Bal Kagan, that's his name, yes. And... Say that we shared stuff. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? Um, I'm actually not really interested in joining the Brotherhood at all, so I think I might actually just go for the spell scrolls or the. Or, I think I'll go for the ore. Actually, I'll I'm take not a the 100 ore. Very well. Here. I'm not a wizard, Harry. Um, and yeah, that's just about it for that guy. What should I do now? Um, it does turn out that this um, this bow is actually just really good and it kills a lot of things. Because I had um, some issues with killing that a certain enemy that I'm going to go to in a second. And I think I should be able to take him on with extra damage. And I'm just going to save real quickly because I'm going to try to kill Balkagon because I don't really like his practices. Uh, bye, thank you. <laughs> that guy didn't really seem to mind all that much. He's just like, hey. Don't point that bow at me. That's not nice. And he seems to have all the weed. So I'm just going to take that. I, it would appear he has no more money at all. Hmm. 
probably would be better off not killing him and just working for his non-existent money, but there you go. I just feel like murdering him because I am a terrible person who likes to murder people. And another thing I actually noticed when I was actually reading what I was supposed to do in this game, um, in the chat that, uh, this, the mission log, I guess, was that I actually had to kill Lefty in one of the quests, which is the guy standing in front of the... this thing. And I guess I just never really did that. I don't know why. It seemed like a bad idea considering there's like a million people around him, but at the same time, I really don't like him. So it seemed like a pretty fun idea in the end. But um, the enemy I was talking about was the Lurker of the Dam, which was that enemy... Isn't there a wall here? Um... No, I guess not. I thought there was a wall here for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. There we go. You learn strange things like the non-existence of walls. But, um, yeah, I have to kill Lefty. I have to kill the Lurker. And we're going to kill the Lurker because the Lurker is not a very nice guy indeed. And to be frank, I just kind of want to lessen this quest log over here because there's actually quite a lot of things. There's also that whole thing where I kind of have to kill more dragon and all that, but uh, yeah, I haven't really gotten around to that either. Anyway, look of the dam. I'm going to save the game because I am afraid of dying. Which, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I tried to kill this guy and he was not very nice the last time, but that was without the longbow. So hopefully stuff will go a little bit better now. I can't hit him from here, so that's good. Die, 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 die. Just die before you get too close and hit me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that worked out really well because uh, that guy's really scary. I'm just going to take his claws. It seems like a nice thing to do. And uh, don't think there's really anything else over here, actually. So I'm just going to take a little look around and look at the beautiful pixelated terrain and then go out of my way and leave again because there is not much to do here, to be honest. The uh, the damn lurker is dead. I'm just gonna tell my friend, I believe his name is Homer, that I killed the evil damn lurker, who was definitely a terrifying beast of law. And maybe I'll sell him some weed afterwards, because clearly he's the kind of person that wants to do drugs. With his tough job of standing around and looking around at people. Seems like a pretty hard thing to do, if you ask me. Definitely a difficult job indeed. Jumpy jumpy. I don't know why, the jumping is just so hypnotic for me, and it looks like I move slightly fast when I do so, so I just kind of like to jump everywhere. It makes me happy. Homer! Talk to me. I've killed the beast. Great! I got some of the Rice Lord's men to help me fix some of the damage it's caused. Now I can finally get some sleep. Yay! Homer, how's the dab? Everything okay with the dam? It's strong as a fortress. Nothing can knock it down. Yay. Right, oh, well, now that we've saved the dam from the evil lurker that was just kind of sitting around and just kind of walking back and forth repeatedly, we can, I guess we can kind of leave this place now. Uh, you guys are all looking at me in a very terrifying ways. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. We'll blow the mound up. Watch well, your back. You, you just, uh, good, good luck with that, sir. I will leave you to that. And it would appear that currently the neighbor is hammering into the wall, which is a great thing, and I hope you can hear it because everyone likes hammers. Um, so yeah, I do believe Lefty was over here. That is a spiked ball. That is not the weapon I want. My weapon of choice is the murder weapon. How many arrows do I have, actually? I should probably check that out before I start shooting at people and, like, lose all my arrows within three shots because I'm not good at planning anything. Kind of like how I didn't plan my neighbors to continuously hammer the wall. <coughs> let's save the game again, because saving the game is so much fun. And let's see how Lefty feels about repeatedly shooting him. Okay, he can see me, it would seem, so I'm just going to try shooting him for a while. The thug doesn't really seem to have an issue with me shooting him. Oh, the Rice Lord does. That's not good, actually. I'm just uh, going to run, I think. Turn him over? No, I'm just going to leave. That is my plan. Hi, mercenaries. Don't mind me. I'm just running away from your master. I hope you don't mind. I hope you are indeed very far away. Another thing that someone told me is that you can basically just lure people into the water. And you can just kind of stand like on a rock just inside the water. And they will just look at you cutely. And you can just shoot them repeatedly with the bow and arrow. It's kind of silly. But I don't really want to do that because it seems a little bit too ridiculous to be honest. 
kind of want to do things normally, although I do just kind of end up randomly killing people here and there, I guess. Mostly they're not important people, like Ball Carvaz, the weed salesman. I don't consider him a very important character to the plot, so I'm just gonna pretend that he was meant to be killed because he was pushing drugs to the people. And that is just simply something I cannot let him do. Um, I heard someone grab a weapon, that's probably not good. Please don't look at me like that, it's very terrifying because I just shot one of your friends. Ugh. Okay, they're back there again. I'm gonna save the game on a different save file and see if he's still nearly dead. That would be very nice indeed. Uh, thug left. Ooh, he is. Look at that. Hey there! I just shot you repeatedly. Uh, thug. A new journal entry. Oh, okay, you're still pretty angry at me. Can I shoot you? Uh, please don't kill me. Oh my, you deal damage. But, oh god, I killed you as well. And that guy is running for me, so I'm just gonna leave. So far, this is going pretty well, this whole longbow business. It seems to be working out quite well. Don't know how they feel about me killing the Rice Lord, and there seems to be a... Okay, I just got killed by what seems to be thin air. Is there like a... Oh, the mercenary did not like me killing that guy. Right, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> right, I'm just gonna kill Lefty again, I guess. Uh, I think he should still be near dead. Yes, he is. And I guess then I'll just run away from the Rice Lord and hope that that's okay with the mercenaries. Yes, new general entry. Or maybe it's just that I can't kill Lefty because that pisses off the mercenaries. That's very possible, actually. Um, no, they don't seem to mind that all that much. Okay. I guess Lefty is, is meant to be dead. What did that journal entry write down? Uh, was it a completed thing? I think that's the one for the... Weed, he is. Um, water carrier. Now that Lefty's dead, the matter about the water could be should be all over and done with. I've never liked that guy. That sounds about right, actually. He did not seem like a very pleasant fellow. Looks like Homer just um, kind of went to take a nap or something. Ooh, that guy's still going after me. I guess I could try killing him over here where no one can really see me. Uh, you jumped in the water there, sir. That was not very smart. And, yeah, it would appear that I can just shoot him from here. But, oh, come on, get out of the water, you idiot. Don't be stupid. Oh, my God. His um, pathfinding seems to have been confused by the water. Isn't that just lovely? Uh, die, 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 die. Right. And now I'm just going to see what he has, actually. He has a... Okay, I actually th thought it was, this was a tire rather than... Molar roll grease, which was, wasn't my first expectation. I'm not gonna lie. The ring of life, which ooh, life bonus. That's always nice. And a scepter. Seems that the scepter is kind of crap, but oh well. There you go. I'm gonna save it over a different save file and see if the mercenaries hate me now, or if it's just that I happened to kill someone just inside their reach or something, which made them shoot me in the face with an arrow, which mostly looked to just be invisible, thin air of death. But it probably was an arrow. I'm not. I'm just going to guess that right now. Um, well, they do look at me very menacingly, but that's about all they seem to be doing. I wonder if I can equip that ring while I have that on the one equipped. Da -da -da -da. I can. Lovely. Ring of life. Life bonus. Awesome. Still some, some um, skill points I have to put into things. And I think I can actually join the old camp now. So that's pretty cool. I think I might do that soonish. Uh, did I kill Lefty around here? I think I did. Would his body be around? I would expect so. There's a longbow here. There's a longbow here. There we go. So that's the thug. Um, is that Lefty? No. What the... What happened to his body? I guess maybe it's like the other guy who just kind of vanished into the air. Did I open this chest? I think I did. I'm just kind of, I've kind of forgotten what I've done so far, so I'm just kind of walking around right now. But I think I've pretty much excavated this entire area, if I remember correctly. Don't mind hey, you me. No, you have no... I know, I know, I know. Don't mind me. So, yeah, Lefty seems to have vanished, and that's a bit weird. I guess we're not taking whatever he was carrying around, but that's kind of a shame, I guess. Eh, oh well. I guess we can probably live without it anyway. Um, I wonder if now that I killed Lefty, that that roof well, was it? You You've got one of our me? men on your conscience. Another little mistake, and it'll be your turn. 
I don't think he likes me anymore. <laughs> Who is the Rice Lord? He was one of the first to arrive here. <laughs> His voice he is completely found the camp and start up the Rice. These days he just blah blah blah. He's already dead. Shut up. His voice sounded completely different when he was talking, like to war me. Like you killed one of our men. Da -da -da. And when he was actually, you know saying his general dialogue that was ridiculous um i just randomly remembered that more drag is probably still in here and it's probably in that hut in the middle and i actually completely forgot about it so i'm just gonna run or well run i'm just gonna go in that direction again i hope i really do hope that he is in the, indeed in that hut because otherwise i don't really know where he went there's a lot of people here there seems to be more and more people just kind of appearing there which is kind of an awkward situation indeed don't know why Lefty's body disappeared while the Rice Lord is still lying around here. That's a bit strange as well. But, uh, this game tends to break every now and then, so you kind of have to get used to these things, I guess. I'm just going to live with it. I'm just going to pretend that it is indeed what is supposed to happen. Uh, is Mordrak in there? And where do you want to go? Why? Uh, in there. Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. Instead. I'm a scraping rogue. Uh, maybe that works. How about some ore as an admission fee? How much ore exactly is some? Fifty? Uh, That's a. What nice. do you say to fifty ore? That's about half of what I'd call some ore. Right, gotcha. <laughs> uh, how about it? No, actually, I'm, I'm a scraper, and I'm thirsty. You don't look like no scraper. You won't get in here like that, boy. How did he know? I mean, I only look completely different from everyone else. Fee? How much ore exactly is some? How much? Well, I'd say 100 because I'm 100 rich. 100 ore nuggets should be enough. Truly spoken, you can get in. Brilliant. Right, let's save the game. I'm gonna die is a good name for a save file. I'm gonna use that very often, I would say. Let's talk about some. And let's see, Mordrag is indeed in here. Let's talk to people. Mordrag! I haven't seen any of you in ages. Laris has a message for you. Tell me about it. He wants to know what's going on in the sect camp, and he wants you to find out. I get the feeling this problem will solve itself. Wow, you're really good at doing anything. Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Show me your goods. Choose something. I kind of forgot what he actually has. He, eh, not very interesting. He has a lot of arrows, at least, so that's pretty cool. Someone actually told me you can apparently haggle stuff, so you don't actually need to pay as much as it would normally cost. So that's something I could try at some point. But I kind of want to kill Mordrak, so I'm not even gonna bother giving him any of my money. I am not even gonna bother. What is around here? This looks like an interesting place. I'm just going to run around inside this building for a while because you never know. It seems like there are Not two listening. rogues. That seems to be just about it. That was not a very exciting adventure indeed when the entire adventure consists of going up a roof. But, you know, it could have been exciting. It could have been exciting indeed. Cypher! Hello! 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 Okay, thank you. He has nothing to say to Cypher. Okay, Silas. How are things? How are things? Great. We trade our homemade rice snaps for ore. Well, the boys carry in enough ore. Where should they spend it if not here? I wonder if there's like three voice actors in this game that just do everything. I'm kind of curious about that. I'll check the credits out of something. I want a drink. You have to pay for it. That's ridiculous. I will not pay for anything that sir. You have a lot. Why does everyone have so many arrows? I guess I do have as well, but still, that's quite a lot of arrows. Yep, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I told the thingy about the guy, or I believe that's probably. Did I have a fail mission? No, I don't. Do 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 do. A mission to the new camp. Mordrak has agreed to blah blah blah. I told Mordrak with Larry. He mumbled something about things taking care of himself. No idea what he meant by it. Well, it means that I'm probably gonna kill everyone in there. To remove a rogue called Mordrak from the camp, but uh -huh. oh no, one must know that Thor is involved. Right? Okay. 
Okay. Well, shooting him here would probably be a pretty bad idea, so I'm just gonna talk to this guy. He seems pretty lanky, not gonna lie. You don't look very happy. I'm not. I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes, but I just can't be bothered. I am such a problem in life. I just can't be bothered to do anything. Err. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's definitely I'll tell you true. something. You have a problem. Bal Kagan will make sure you'll be replaced. What? The sleeper have mercy on me. I need to get rid of this stuff. Yeah, I, he probably is going to get really angry, just ignoring the fact that he's kind of. I can dead. sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. He's cleverer than he looks. Here you go. Have another drink on me. Thanks, man. I'll drink to your health. I'll get him to give stuff to me. I should have poisoned that drink. That would have been smart. If only I had any poison at all. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. Oh, man. I need to get rid of this stuff. You wouldn't try to make me look like a fool, would you? I give you nah. my word. Good. Here's this stuff. You should get at least 400 ore for it. That would be 200 for each of us. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you have the ore. Do you know who'll take bigger amounts here? If I knew that, I would have gone myself. I feel much better now that I'm rid of this stuff. I am not going to try to sell 50 or 50 bottles of weed to anyone this will take months so, where is it anyway is it just like a miscellaneous uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff in here and I already had quite a lot of stuff to begin with so yeah. and I think these guys both kind of look more like mercenaries than they look like not mercenaries I mean, uh, Mordrag, can you follow me around, please? Uh, I guess um, this is kind of an awkward situation because I don't really... Um, it's kind of scary. I don't know. I think I'm going to take care of the rogues up here. Or at least I'll make an attempt to, to take out the rogues here. And then I'll just kind of work my way down and hope that works. Otherwise, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Not in a good situation at all. Um... He's already holding his bow and arrow. Why is that? Oh, that's why. Okay, they're both looking at me right now. Um, what do you intend to do now, with the weapon? I kind of want only one of them to hold the bow and arrow initially, and I'll just shoot that one. Put the go. weapon down. Never die, rogue scum. Arr. Put that. Die, die, and now you. Don't you dare shoot at me. Don't you. Come on. A Hit bite. at all. Uh, Not you. Uh, Please don't die. Yeah, uh, don't let me die. Please. Just die. Uh, that was, yeah, that was definitely a fight there. <laughs> People downstairs who somehow can see everything that happens on the ceiling. I hope that didn't make them a little bit cross at me. That would be somewhat of an awkward situation. I have so much bread at this point. You never know when you need a very, very large amount of bread. Like right now, I think I'm going to eat some of this very, very large... Okay, I only have six of them, but still, it doesn't matter because there's so much food in this game. Bread actually looks different when you're eating it. That's kind of cool. I don't know why this entertains me so much. But I like the little detail that it actually looks different from, like, rice and stuff. So I never really noticed that. So much detail indeed. Right, let's, uh, I probably shouldn't have used that save file, to be honest. <laughs> Whoops, oh well, let's see how they react to me killing everyone. They don't seem to really give a crap. Okay, <laughs> more drag. You're still not really angry Are you really? What if I am? I'd... I already asked that. Um, hmm. 